Welcome to our new review. We're reviewing Lego Star Wars 2 for the win. For the 360. Yeah, otherwise I wouldn't be saying this. <laughs> you douche. Okay, so, this is Lego Star Wars. It's a... It, people misconceive it as a kid's game. It's kind of fun for adults too, but... It's not a big laster. Mm -hmm. um, at the beginning of every... There's three episodes. It's the first three episodes from the Star Wars trilogy. Or rather, the second three. Which were actually the first three. I don't watch Star Wars, I think it's gay. <laughs> but the game is fun. Wait, At the beginning of them. Um, yeah. I'm I'm pleasing the Xbox dudes, so it's your job to please the Star Wars dudes. Have you ever watched a Star Wars film? No, I rented it but I never watched it. I, I said fuck it, I'm watching TV. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well we prefer our T V to our Star Wars, but we're cultured. <coughs> You'd find at the beginning of every level there's these little cutscenes. Which is pretty cool. There's no vocals but uh there's no voice acting. The animation is very well done and it portrays the story like you don't need voice acting, it's just done very well. Yeah. It's cutesy and Lego. I love yeah. it. It's plus it looks like Lego, it looks like you're playing with Lego and it's cool. And the graphics are well, Xbox three sixty, Xbox three sixty graphics, but the graphics are The graphics are H D, they're not the best, yeah. but they do the job and yeah. um they do well. they, there's like no complaints. Yeah, it looks like Lego, it's like it's not hard to I put like Lego on Man's them. beard. Yeah. Like it's Lego, it's not hard to put graphics on a Lego, so it still looks. Why weird. didn't they um keep the hats? <laughs> the thing about this game is, at some stage you're going to be wearing hats, pretty much through the whole game. Um, if you don't have a hat, you fail. The controls are X to shoot, A to jump, and certain characters have force powers, which Peter will display now by holding B. See, so you just made a little fighter pilot. Now, if we'd driven that round instead of running her all over the place. Would have saved us a lot of time. Yeah. There's a lot of vehicle driving and stuff in this game too, which works pretty well. This is one of the points you'll have to get a hat just to get past the security point. Yes, but quite often the security points can be uh, pretty far between uh, the hat machines, so you're going to be doing a lot of backtracking to go back to the hat machines, because if you get shot at all in this, you lose your hat. This is Chewbacca. Chewbacca looks like a turd, like a piece of shit can check him out and he looks special wearing a hat. Check it out. So on we go with my hand solo. Now if you don't shoot the dudes because we're wearing hats they won't actually notice you. So just construct things, don't bother. Oh. They actually shoot you if you construct things and I lost my fucking hat and so did you. Um. See I've lost my hat already. It's only Luke that has the hat left. Well we're pretty close to a hat machine so we'll basically just get him back straight away. Yeah well we actually passed the hat machine. Well, we passed there. the security point. But isn't the door and gate not open? Yeah, we opened the oh. gate to get in here. Yeah. So we've done our job. There's another cutscene. They have their humour in them, but um they make you LOL. Yeah. I like it. LOL <laughs> I returned. Yeah. Shut up you piece of shit. Shit bag. They all have their own weapons. Chewbacca has his bow thingy. And the bow's for the win. Chewbacca is winner. So you just continue on through the story like this. It has all the episodes and they have their different parts. There's the vehicle levels. And you go on. Also, if you do a double jump and then shoot, you'll get a twice as much ammo. Oh, yeah, that's another little trick. You jump twice. Well, I can't do it with him. It's Compared sexy. to normal shooting, you can just double jump. Ah! Sorry, man. I'm gonna kill everyone. Everyone, you motherfuckers. Another point to this game, if you get bored, you can just start fucking killing your friends. Yeah, basically, you can um, get bored, just battle to the deaths, and they're really fucking fun. Yeah, especially when you bitch slap your friend to death in the back of the head, you shit bag. Oh, <laughs> you're a fucking asshole. You can also um, just kill Chewbacca for fun, because yeah, he's, he's a, a giant turd, and yeah. it's fun to kill. Turd sandwich. There's um, other puzzles in this game which are kind of tricky. Sometimes right. they leave you not knowing what to do. But which usually you'll get past it. At one point we had to look through, up a walkthrough. Because we're shitbags. Yeah. And we failed. We did fail, but... Um, we we e eventually won. Yeah. Would Everyone would have failed, ever. <laughs> but it's it's kind of cool that you have to go help your dudes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's teamwork. And that's fucking teamwork. This is a better multiplayer game than it is a single player, and that's probably yeah, that's what makes it 
the biggest point to note about it. If you're playing this alone, it won't last. If you're playing it multiplayer, it's better. Oh! Uh, fucking shot right from beneath my hat. So, out of this game, I give it I give it 7.5, or 7 and 3 quarters out of 10. It's It wins, but um, not as single player. Mm. I'd rent it, but I wouldn't buy it. But we rent the shit games so you don't have to buy them. Yeah, just to show you what they're like, and then if you want to rent We them, hope you win. Um, Peter, what would you rate this game? I'd give it a 7 out of 10, because it's, it's just good fun. It's 7 good fun and game. a half eggs. Yeah. Thanks for watching. This is Boss 364 Reviews signing out.